Consuela, now you're a member of the Chicas Bricas. You know how to handle a gun. As long as that's not sexual innuendo, then you're right. Ugh. You're more girl than boy. You want to be part of our gang? Might as well. It's pretty boring when everyone's at school anyway. Want to play table hockey? After you join. <laughs> Kick her ass! Oh! Beautiful shot. Thank you. <gasps> Look, your favorite celebrity. Smack. Nicely played. <laughs> Senator, we've known each other for nearly two days now. Can I ask you a favor? Sure. Come by tonight for dinner and we can talk. But let me warn you, I have a rule about favors. I give everybody just one. I have a similar rule about bubble gum. Feel beautiful. I did it! I made waves! I'm like this with the senator now. He's having me for dinner tonight, and I'm gonna ask him to put me on the interagency task force as a favor. Ooh, what's that? It's basically this thing that will change everything in my life. Everything in my life will be better if I get it, and I'll be really disappointed if I don't. Francine, I played the... My God! You got in a fight at school? No, look, you know, I'm gonna be a straight shooter with you now. I think I screwed the pooch on this one. What? You know how you said try to be friends with the senator's daughter? Yeah? Well, it began like that, and then middle, 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 and then I sold her to a drug dealer. The end. You what? Are you seriously mad at me, Stan? You're the one who's always telling me to go with my instincts. I thought you'd be proud of me. Ah, oh, there's a blue jay out there. I don't want to see the blue jay. Oh, it's so blue. You're not gonna want to miss this. No. Stan? Fine. Oh, it's gone. Why would you sell the girl? Why would you not look at the Blue Jay earlier? You sold the senator's daughter? How did this happen? Ugh, I've told this story so many times today. You, you should just ask my hairdresser. Roger! Okay, okay. So, I was trying to be her best friend, like you wanted. So, Cookie, do you like ponies? Uh, no. I'm almost 16. Oh. So, what do you like? Cocaine and stuff. Yay! <gasps> oh, Patrick. Wake up, bitch! Get your ass up! Wake up! Ow, I'm awake! What do you want? I want the money you owe me! I don't have any more money! Take this fool outside and shoot him in the head. I don't want to go outside! Hey, it's beautiful out. You've been inside all day. Now you are gonna go out there, get some fresh air, and get shot in the head. Wait, how much do I owe? 300 bucks. I'll sell you the girls for $300, plus $1.35 for the bus. Oh, and the name of a plumber I can trust at my house when I go to work. I'm, I'm asking everybody. JKM Plumbing's coming on Tuesday, so we can put the wooden spoon back in the kitchen. No more having to chop off our dumps. God, Roger, how could you sell her? Dan, you're focusing on the wrong thing. The wooden spoon's for pasta again. Ugh. Hello? Stan, my daughter didn't come home from school. Now, last time I talked to her, she was with Steve. Yes, yes, uh, they're right here. They, they are here playing safely in the safeness of my house. <laughs> no, we're not. Anyway, sir, she's here and she's safe. Oh, good. I was worried. Now, just bring Cookie home when you come over for dinner. Take it easy, Stan. Let's just... Let's just lower our guns. Pow! Second gun! Ah, ha, ha, ha! Hmm. None of this looks familiar. You dumbass, where did you leave her? I don't know. I was pretty messed up, Stan. Maybe I'm too sober to remember. Maybe if I was messed up now? Forget it. Fine, just thought you wanted to find her. <gasps> Fourteen blocks straight ahead, then you're gonna take a ride on Euclid. Well, Roger, you're really focused. Yeah, I thought it would help. It'll be the fourth building on your left, just past the recycling plant. Why are you stopping? It's a red light. I didn't stop for red lights. Uh, 
Hey, hi. I'm just here to pick up Cookie. What? The, uh, <clears throat> the, uh, girl there on the couch. Which one? Uh, well, the, um, uh, how, how do I say this? Uh, the, the one with the straightest hair. She's, uh, the one on the end there. I mean, uh, if you were handing out sunscreen, you'd give it to her first. The white bitch? Oh, yes, thank you. Yes, yes, the, 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 the white bitch. What's he want? He's here for the white girl. She's mine. Everything in this room is mine. Got it? The girl, the coffee maker, the... Whoa! Whose is that? Oh, that's Carl's. Too scary, Carl. Get it out of here. No. You know what? Give it to this fool. He's on his way out. Ah, I see. I'll be on my way. Is this coffee fresh? Who made this? Yo, what time was the coffee made? We're going straight to the senators for dinner. How do we sober her up? Oh, we don't. She's, she is strung out. But she's a heavy user with a massive tolerance, so she might pull it together. She also might die. Either way, I'm eating dessert. I've been very good this week. It was great getting you on the course today, Stan. Have you thought about your favor? A favor? I did some favors today. <laughs> oh, she sure did. Shaking up medicine at the old folks' home. We all did it. Good idea, Cookie. Let's dig in. <laughs> Come on. Bravo, Cookie. Another face plant. Lessie! Bring in the Pulp Fiction kit. You... you know about her drug problem? All too well. But I don't have time to deal with it. For men like us, Stan, for men of power and authority, well, there's career and there's family. And sometimes you have to focus on what's important. And that's career. So, spit it out. What's your favor? Well, since you assign the task force positions... Take it. A phone call at a time like this couldn't possibly change the nature of a favor you're going to ask. Hello? Stan! Oh, my God, Stan! Steve's been arrested! Whoa, whoa, baby, calm down. He robbed a pharmacy. People are in the hospital. Armed robbery! He's in jail! People are always in the hospital, baby. That's what they built him for. Stan! What are we going to do? Look, it's going to be fine. It's a first offense. You have to do something. He's your son! <laughs> Okay, I know what my favor is. I washed you in the sink when you were a baby. I ain't gonna let you die. <laughs> there you are. You want a piece of cake? I hate you, Lassie! Mm-mm. You're a troubled child. I don't know who you know, but it must be someone pretty high up. I mean, not the president, but more than the mayor. Just from the feel of it, I'd say it was a third-term senator? U.S. Not state, of course. Wow, exactly right. Yeah, it's on the form here. Ha-ha, wasted your time. I'm sorry, Dad. No, I'm the one who should be sorry. I was playing the career game, and I should have been focusing on what's important. Focusing on you. I just want to go back to my old school. That's all I want to, son. Your face is freaking me out. You look like the cashier at CVS. How are we going to explain this to Mom? Don't worry, I'll take care of that. We'll blame the robbery on one of those snotty private school kids. This way, this way. You on the run too, huh? I was framed. Who are you? My name's Johnny. Johnny Mind. Mind Quad. Now get in. We have good deeds to do in quirky small towns all across America. <laughs> You're watching the season premiere of Mind Quad. Sign on to MindQuad.org to get the scoop on Johnny's new pal, the differently abled Jimmy Boomba. 